Welcome to the B-17. The B-17 was the heavy bomber for the American forces during the Second World War. It had four radial piston engines and was designed to go deep into the heart of enemy territory and deliver bombs accurately. The Americans placed great faith in their ability to bomb accurately during daylight hours. They had a thing called the Norden bomb site, which they regarded as top secret, must not fall into enemy hands for any reason. And their idea was there would be so many machine guns and so much defensive capability in each individual bomber and in the bomber formation itself that this gigantic, rigid balbo of airplanes would transport itself slowly in daylight into the heart of Germany and then return unscathed. Sadly, it was not to be. The Germans ripped the bomber formations apart and there were no adequate fighters that could pursue the bombers deep into the heart of Germany. They didn't have enough petrol. So the bombers in the early days of the war were on their own and oh my goodness me, did they suffer. It was known as the Flying Fortress. It had 10 machine guns. 10 all manned, almost more machine guns than it carried bombs. Famously, Arthur Bomber Harris and the RAF took the armor plate out of Lancaster's, the armor plate that was protecting the air crew. He took it out because it meant that they could carry more bombs. The Americans went the other way and they just packed it full of machine guns and armor plate and protection for the crew. Kind of wonderful for the crew, but this airplane, even though it's a very big airplane, only carried half the bomb load of a Lancaster which meant that you had to go back twice to do the job. There were some famous raids which illustrated the shortcomings of the American policy of daylight precision bombing, notably the one on the oil fields in Ploesti, which was an absolute disaster, and nearly 50% of the bombers failed to return. Nevertheless, as an airplane, you couldn't want for a more simple, reliable flying machine. A delight to fly, incredibly stable bombing platform, and uh, very, very easy to land. So well loved by its crews and rightly so, but it was weak on its ability to deliver munitions. It didn't carry very many munitions because it carried an awful lot of other things as well.